As I spend more time online, I feel this constant noise that distracts my mind all day. It feels like as if there's someone whispering into your ears day and night. The internet has definitely helped me build my career, but at the same time it consumed me. The more I seek for inspiration, the more I find myself wondering. In those moments, I knew I had to change, to spend more time offline and shut the world out. With nothing planned, I gathered two friends and decided to book a wooden lodge in the middle of nowhere. And throughout this trip, we decided to document the whole process and to see if all this was actually worth it. Digital detox is actually a really simple thing. It refers to a period of time when a person voluntarily refrains from using digital devices such as smartphones and social platforms. As individuals have increased their time spent on digital devices and the internet, this form of detoxication has become really popular, especially in the Western world. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And this is it. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, now, I'm going to do the 2-3 weeks of detoxification. So we bought a lot of books here so we can read throughout this trip here. We have our kitchen right there. We're going to be cooking our own food for the next three days. Everything's going to be handmade. We're not going to put any artificial flavors in here because we want to keep everything natural. So yeah, the main theme of this trip is to shut ourselves out of this world and digital detox for the next three days because, you know, there's a lot of things that we are consumed of and we wanted to get away from that. So this is our first morning here in this cottage. In this day of age, we are continuously immersed in ads and all these like digital noise around us. So that's why we are here and we just wanted to see how this experience goes. After enjoying a nice coffee under the sun, we decided to spare more time on reading and focusing on ourselves. 18 hours have passed since the beginning of this trip. And finally, we noticed a slight difference in our body. So we've been just reading and you know taking notes for the past four hours, but you know it feels like we've been out for about twelve hours. It really feels. There goes the breaker. <laughs> yeah, you can't really use much electricity in this house, so um, the breaker goes off a lot. But anyways, the cost of the time feels like it doesn't exist right now. You know, it really helps you focus on one thing, and as a result, you just feel more productive. Ah, this is bad. This is scary. After spending hours in front of books and papers, we decided to explore the surrounding areas to fully embrace ourselves in nature. <laughs> Once we were outside, it was evident how minimal everything was. The sound of leaves mumbling and birds chipping everywhere is something we barely hear in the city. Yeah. <laughs>俺さ、昨日と今日でさ、ググりたいって思った瞬間がさ、結構来て。だから、うわ、日常生活って本当にぐるぐってんだな。だから逆に俺昔の人って分かんないことあった時に人に聞くか、自分で実践して調べるしか
間引き木の数が少ないって感じじゃんつまり、うん、山が生成するものを一番人間にとって大事なのなんだ人間なお正解つまり地中に張ってる根の数が少ないわけだからそこを通してろ過するものも少ないわけでしょそうすると、うん、あの本来はもっとミネラルが含まれていて岩蓄されて川に放出されていたものが今は少ないんだよねだから、あのー、畑もそれは同様で人参だったりとかじゃがいもも栄養分が少ないし昔よりはねであと魚自体もそこまでこう大きく育たないって言われてるんだよ、うん、だからあのサプリメントの話もインナボとしたんだけど今は少なくなってしまった分サプリメントで補給しなければいけないって感じっていう問題があるんだよね今まで言ったら費用かそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそれがないからさ間引くとまあこうやって理想の,あの一本一本大きくなるんだけど地中の根が減っちゃうんだよねうそうそういや結局何か問題があるんだよ人口的にやっちゃうとねいつも話し合いをしてくれる人たちが作るものがあるのでそれを知りたいと思います。いつも話し合いをしてくれる人たちが作るものがあるので、それを知りたいと思います。いつも話し合いをしてくれる人たちが作るものがあるので、And distracted by emails and notifications. But the truth is, we can't change the course of this world. We are the ones who need to adapt to implement steps towards behavioral changes that will improve our concentration. <laughs> This was our final morning of digital detoxing. The only thing left was to climb the mountain behind our backyard and embrace ourselves in nature one last time. The old lady told us that there's some sort of monument. At the top of this mountain, and we still have time, so I guess we're gonna check it out and see what we can find around this area. Wow, we made it to the top. As you may have noticed, there isn't anything special like waterfalls or mountain peaks around this area, but it is a perfect place to separate yourself from the ordinary life and to look into yourself on a deeper level. You know, for me, I just want to be a better human being and live a life where I want to achieve my own passion、uh, passions, but at the same time, do something better for this world. So, yeah, this、um, experience was really special for me. And throughout this video, I hope people would take care of themselves more and think about you know, moving more towards nature and to kind of reflect on themselves. So, yeah, that is the takeaway from Tip.、Um, I think we're going to go on a train now. Head back to reality, but with a fresh mind.